Hi guys, this is a video on Windows tips. This time it's an extension to a previous video on Windows shortcuts. Now in that video I discovered that you could run DOS commands in Windows XP. And this is useful for doing several things which I'm about to show you. So let's begin. What's a command prompt? Start run CMD. This is a command prompt where you can just uh, run several commands. You notice it started in C documents and settings Duncan. Now what if I wanted to start this program in the folder, in a specific folder? Now what you can do is make a shortcut to run this in the folder. You just type in cmd, and I'll say open command prompt here. Now I've got a test folder here, I'm just going to put this inside that. If you notice if I go and run it, it will start it in C Windows. That's not what we want, we want it to start in this address here. Now if you can't see this address, if you also just say something like test folder, you say tools, folder options, view, display the full path in the address bar, tick it, and then press OK. So um, this has run itself in C Windows, hasn't it? So we're going to say right click properties, and take out in the starting box everything, so it has to be blank. So we'll then run it, there you go, C document settings, dust and test folder, so it's just the same as that. So you can then drag this into anything. See documents, settings, Duncan desktop. Now having this blank is important for all the files that we're going to use today because then you can drag it into any folder and it will run it inside that folder. So that's very important. Yeah, as uh, I think you can get a XP power toy for this, which will uh, add it to the right click menu. But just for for the fact that you can do it, you can do it through a, a shortcut. So that's that one. Copy a drive to a folder. Now, if you own a USB drive, like I do, I've got several, um, you'll find that you want to back it up, and you can back it up just say, but just by copying and pasting. But there is another way you can do it, where you can have it, uh, which is a lot easier, where you can have it back itself up to specific folders. So what we're going to do is make a shortcut. Firstly, you've got to know the drive that your USB pen is, because we're going to use it in a shortcut. Mine's drive N here. You see, I've got several files here. Uh, just random files in drive in. So what we want to do is we're going to make a shortcut on the desktop because I'm going to copy all the contents to the desktop. So I'll say X copy and we're going to say the N drive which is the source drive which is N which we've just seen and then dot backslash which means whichever folder the shortcut is in so it's the current folder is dot backslash. So we're saying next we're going to say copy USB drive here. So we also need to change the properties and make sure this WinDIR is nothing, otherwise it will copy these into the Windows directory. So we then run this, double click it, flashes up, and you'll see the contents of the drive have been copied to the desktop. So wherever you drag this, this into, so say I drag it into the test folder, double click, flashes up, and the file has been copied. But you'll notice that the website folder hasn't been copied and all the things inside it hasn't been copied. So you need to go to properties again xcopy.exe slash e that means slash everything so if I was to delete these and run it again flashes up and now the website folder has been copied with everything inside it so what if every time you go out you do new work on your pen you bring it home and you go to copy it and it keeps saying overwrite overwrite because if I run this again it will say do you want to overwrite everything so if you're tired of seeing that and you want to see it done automatically overwriting your old stuff you just say xcopy.exe slash everything slash I'm going to say yes slash y means slash yes now you can change this n drive and dot whichever to any folders you want but this dot backslash uh, it just means where the shortcut is located so n drive you can have copy c drive to where it is copy the d drive whichever and you can do it the other way as well you can say copy dot the, the current folder uh, to the n drive so you can have it the other way around Okay, so that is copying the drive to a folder. Uh, displaying the contents of a file. Make a shortcut. We're going to say this time, cmd slash case, open a command prompt box and run the following command. Type in brackets, uh, sorry, in uh, quotes, percent one. That means the file you're going to drag onto this shortcut is going to put itself in percent one. Then we're going to go pipe, which is next to the Z button, pressing shift and backslash. Then more. Now uh, it's best to show you it running. Slash K means it's going to keep itself in this command box before it closes. So it's best to just show you. We're going to say contents. 
So this is going to show you the contents of any file that you drag onto onto it. So a lot of people will say, yeah, if you open up a text file, you can open it up in Notepad. That's fine. But if you've got an info file, this is included in some torrents. Uh, you can either download damn info viewer or you can use this shortcut. So you drag it over the shortcut and you'll notice that it's got everything inside that file. You'll also notice it says the system cannot find a file specified. Just ignore that for the second because I'm not sure why it does it. I've tried the command in the normal box and it works, but uh, for some reason when I do that, it still works though. You can see it's actually opened the program and opened the uh, file and displayed its contents. So what if you've got a long file? Now that's where that pipe more comes in. It adds more at the bottom, you'll notice it says system, just ignore that. It, you notice it says more at the bottom, so it stopped at a page worth of text, you press space, it'll stop at another page, so you can basically go on, and you'll notice that the slash K I put at the end means it stays in the box, so you can close it, so you can read the end of the file. Save folder contents in a text file. Now, I've got a file full of music, oh, we'll delete that for a second, <laughs> I've got a file full of my music here, file full of music, Oh, we do need that, sorry. We're gonna. No, we don't. No. <laughs> right, we're gonna say new no, shortcut. I wanna be able to display the contents of this directory in a text file. So we're gonna cmd slash k if you wanna keep it. Um, in the, uh, you wanna show the box if it, it says any error messages. We're gonna say dir. Dir is the normal command to display the contents of a directory. But this time we're gonna say greater than and we're gonna say music. Txt. So, this is then going to save directory contents. Let's say finish, and you'll notice when I run this, it's it's done. It's just it's, the command prompt's finished. Unfortunately, I saved it in Windows because I've forgotten to change the start in bit to wherever the folder is. So, all right. So here we've done it. It's in my music. And it's made a music.txt file which has displayed a directory of all my MP3s. So this is useful if you want to send someone the uh, all this all the status of your uh, files, like all the sizes and the names of them. So that's that. But you'll notice that hasn't included my iTunes and my CDDB directory. So edit this and we want to go cmd uh, slash k dir space slash s and then the greater than sign music.txt. So now It'll take a little bit longer, but that's done. And it's in music.txt, and you'll notice that it's now got all the directories inside my music folder. So that is saving the contents to a text file. Now, you can compare... The, I've missed comparing two files, haven't I? All right, so I've got document one and document two. I've changed... Uh, there's, they're pretty exactly the same, apart from I've changed dither in one of them to banana. So we're going to make a shortcut quickly. And we're going to this time say cd slash k fc, which means file compare, doc1.txt and doc2.txt. What it's going to do, if there's two files that you use regularly and they're very similar and you just want to see the differences between them, we're going to change the start in again to be blank. Run it, and it's just comparing files, one, doc1 and doc2. And it says banana and delay, and it says dither and delay. So it's showing you the differences between the two files. So that's comparing files, and saving a tree of folders to a text file. Uh, basically, uh, we'll make it in the C drive this time. Uh, you can make a shortcut that will display, again, using that greater than text file. We'll do cmd slash k, and then we're going to say tree slash a, which means show it in ASCII format, because if you don't use this slash a command, for some reason it shows it in weird format, and then into tree.txt. Next, we're going to say tree, finish, uh, run it, and oh dear, that's in the C Windows folder again, because I've forgotten to change start in. So we'll try it again, tree, you notice it worked for a little bit, and now it's finished, and it's now put tree of my all my directories into a text file. Useful if you want to send someone a directory structure of your computer or drives or anything because again when you put the tree in any folder it will run and it will show you all the directories inside of that and run it into the text document. So that is several things you can do with a with the DOS commands in shortcuts. So thanks for watching my video. Please rate and subscribe. If I've missed anything, be sure to correct me. If I've done anything wrong, then let me know. Uh, thanks for watching.